education, how easily people are deceived into believing lies. Even Christians are duped constantly by those who present false gospels. Galatians 1, 6 through 8. We've got 7 million Mormons or 2 million Mormons. They believe the false gospel. Okay? I feel bad for them. They honestly believe that what they are following is correct. Jehovah's Witnesses do, too. You know? They have faith. It's just misdirected faith. Okay? We've got people that believe that Muhammad actually, you know, rode a horse up to heaven and that he's their guy. All right? All of these people are deceived. Okay? False doctrines, Romans 16, 17 talks about false doctrines, false displays of power, Benny Hinn comes to mind, although I understand, I, I've never seen him since he gave that thing that I read in the prophecy report, but he says, I've had a complete change in my mind about the gospel and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if he ever changed or not, I don't need to know, but at the time I wrote this, he was giving false presentations of power from God and false predictions. The rapture did not happen on 23 September of 2017, which there were millions and millions and millions of views on these people's sites. It's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. And when it ended, people still watch them. They still cling to these people. Okay, since September 23rd, 2017, which obviously is about the time that I typed this, I bet you I have seen 150 rapture predictions. Absolutely. Not one of them has come true. People believe, they want to believe nonsense instead of reading their Bible and getting down proper theology. Sensation. Yeah, sensation. How easy it is then, how easy then it would be for Christians to believe the false presentations of the Antichrist. They already believe everything false that's going on around them. How easy it would be. Now, this is a great argument for a pre-tribulation rapture, folks. Here it is. How easy then it would be for Christians to believe the false presentations of the Antichrist. They'd all be duped, every one of us. But such will not be the case. God will keep his people from such lies. I don't understand how anybody could say, oh yeah, I'm going to believe the Antichrist. You know, or I'm going to, I believe I'm going to go through uh, three and a half years under the Antichrist. Okay? He doesn't just suddenly come to power and stand in the temple of God claiming to be God. He has to have power developed in order for him to get to that point. They already know who he is, okay? It's a perfect logical argument for a pre-tribulation rapture that we are so stupid as Christians that we believe nonsense all over the place. They're real saved believers that believe that Benny Hinn was out healing people. They're real saved believers that are, yeah, they believe, they're duped into believing that they have to speak in some gobbledygook tongue in order to prove that they have the Holy Spirit. I talked to some last night or two nights ago, okay? These people believe these things, all right? Such is not the case. For now, the cure will be, the cure for being duped by false teachings is to keep your nose in the Bible. That's right. Read 